Okay, so part two, I wanted to talk about, like, when I met my husband and everything, because honestly, he was a big part of, like, you know, um, when I transitioned back and everything, he was there for me every step of the way. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So I met my husband on a dating app. Um, I had already been on testosterone for a while. I had already had top surgery and everything. So he met me as male. Um, he identifies as gay. He likes dudes. He, you know, met me as that. <laughs> But then when my liver started to fail on testosterone, um, I made the decision to detransition. I did this mainly for safety. I live in a rural area and I knew from presenting as a masculine lesbian before um, that it was not always safe. And my thought was um, that if I presented feminine in public, um, at least I wouldn't have to deal with like hassle in everyday life. You know what I mean? And I could just like focus on healing and I could see, you know, my therapist for gender dysphoria as I had already been doing for years. You know what I mean? On a good note, I don't pass now, that's not the good note, okay? But the good note is that now that everybody knows me in my community and out of my community, um, everybody leaves me alone. Unless they're coming up to me like, oh my god, your Uncle Festa, East Coast Mick. It's great. So this is me when I detransitioned and I presented as a woman. Here's another picture, and as a side note, I didn't have money to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe, so like, that's one of my men's white tees. Those were men's pants. That is my battle vest that I still own. But yeah, anyways, um, I just figured my husband, uh, you know, at the time he obviously wasn't my husband. I'm like, he's not going to be interested in me still. Um, he likes men. Uh, so I ghosted on him. I started talking to other people, dating other people. Um, and then he reached out to me and he asked me, um, you know, if I stopped talking to him because I thought he wouldn't be interested. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, uh, well, that's absolutely not true. I am very interested in pursuing you still. Um, I actually found a text that I believe is like um, from that you know, time I just wanted to share because it's so sweet. It says, yeah, well, sitting around ripping myself up wasn't working. I couldn't bring myself to give up on something that I believed in. And so you know what they say, if you want something, you'll work for it. And usually the best things are the things you work the hardest for. Um, and I'm like, I'm saving that message forever because he was basically, you know, because uh, I was going through a hard time. I was I was kind of difficult. I had ghosted on him and he just stuck it through and he still wanted to persevere. And that he did. There is us. He stuck by me. He stuck with me. And it wasn't easy because I was going through a rough time, but he stood by me. My detransition did not last long, though. 66 days to be exact, as you can see here. I tried to be a girl for 66 days. It was exhausting. I'm back. It's so cute because when I had a breakdown in the car, my husband's like, are you thinking about detransitioning? He just knew. He brought me to Walmart and bought me clippers to shave my head again and a new wardrobe.